let's talk about the NCAA tournament conversation because you look at, at their resume as it sits right now, sitting at 58 in the net. Alabama, that win is the best win of any Pac-12 team mm -hmm. in terms of non-conference wins. I would not have predicted that Stanford's worst net loss would be to ASU at this point Nobody in the year. Would. Yeah, uh, but they haven't been to the NCAA tournament since 2014. As you look at kind of where they are right now and hoping that they're going to get those guys back soon, what, what are your thoughts? I think they're in right now, but they have to do what's expected. And tonight at Cal, you're expected to win that game. I don't care who's in the lineup and who's not. Um, so they have to find a way to do that. Listen, you, if you told me you made Jared Haas coach of the year with Everything that's happened to Stanford, they're playing in Santa Cruz. They can't go home. They're living in Santa Cruz. They're on the road in L.A. Like the stuff that he's gone through this year, the fact that we're even talking about them in the NCAA tournament is incredible. It really is. And how they've had to adjust and adapt and deal with adversity and live somewhere else. And the emotion of Jared Haas, I get it, man. Like for all these coaches. The entire year, what they've had to do just to have a season, Stanford being the worst of it, though, because of what they had to do and move out of where they basically live, it's unreal stuff. The fact that we're having a season at all, number one. But number two, the job that these, these staffs in all 12 in our league have done to make the schedule work, to get games, to complete games, is nothing short of incredible. It really is. And Jared Haas, I think, with – Having the most going against him, it's unbelievable what he's done, really.